known as Skydart on Reddit and at Skydart on Twitter. I have your questions right here, uh, and I'm here with Jessica from BioWare, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the games that you guys are going to be putting out pretty soon. Uh, let's go through these questions. Starting with, Dragon Age 1 and 2 are vastly different games. What can we expect from Dragon Age 3 in terms of overall style or feel? So we actually took a lot of the best things from Dragon Age 1 and Dragon Age 2 and we're bringing them into Dragon Age Inquisition. It's not a game where we expect you to play both games to play this game. It's got its own unique style and feel, but the thing that we want people to remember is that Dragon Age 2 was only a very, very small, small part of Thetis. Dragon Age 3, we're hoping to see a lot more. So that comes with different art styles, that comes with different kinds of people. You never know. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, have you decided when Mass Effect 4 will take place? So we are definitely working on the next Mass Effect game. It's not Mass Effect 4 because it's, you know, it's it's separate from Shepard's story. It is taking place in the Mass Effect universe. I can't say when it's going to happen, but we're really excited with the direction it's going right now. I'm such a fangirl. I'm sorry. She's my friend, so I can be informal with her. We're besties. Yes, we're besties. Um, okay. Be set up in the new Dragon Age. Will it be more akin to Dragon Age 2 Mass Effect or Dragon Age? This is a confusing question. Whereas more customizations of different races, uh, silent, etc. So there's definitely some exciting things that we are looking forward to talking about when it comes to the main <laughs> character, the Inquisitor. Right. Um, right now, I am just going to have to say you'll have to rewatch the trailer and see if you can find me hidden secrets. Oh. But we definitely do know that customization, all all of that jazz is really important to our players and it's important to us too. How will Dragon Age how will the Dragon Age team respond to fan criticism in previous games with Inquisition? So I actually lead up the community team at BioWare and part of our job is to make sure that we're listening to fan feedback, that we're gathering it up and we're presenting it to the team. We actually did a lot of um, question of the month where we asked people about certain aspects of the games and we took all of that feedback and we gave it back to the team. So all of your criticisms have been heard. If you go and play any of the DLC from Dragon Age 2, you can already see where we put in more things like we don't have hordes dropping, we have a lot more intelligent combat, we have some cool customization and going into the lore, and you you can expect a lot more of that fan feedback to come into play for Dragon Age Inquisition. Awesome. All right. Uh with successful backing of Kickstarter projects, which are more old school, is Bioware looking to into creating an RPG game with more old school co concepts as well? That's oh. an interesting question. Yeah, that is interesting. I think that that is something that our team in the business development department is, you know, they're not going to rule out. We're definitely looking for all opportunities that we can to reach our fans. Our, we know how important our legacy titles are to the fans, so I wouldn't rule it out entirely, but it's definitely not in the plans right now. Right, right, right. Who knows, maybe like a mobile game or something uh, like that. Uh, all right. Does Dragon Age 3 link Le uh, Leliana... Sorry, let me try it one more time. Does Dragon Age 3 link to Leliana's implied story arc from the end of uh, Dragon Age 2? Oh my gosh, well that's a spoiler. Oh, that is a spoiler. That's a spoiler. That's a good point. Yeah, so there are definitely going to be things that if you've played the game, you're going to remember them. Yeah. If you are really chomping on the bit to get as much information, I would suggest people go and read Dragon Age Asunder, which is, I don't know, maybe relevant, maybe not, but can't say anything about Liliana. Did I you, love her though. Do you like, did you like the book? It's a, it's a really good book. It's my, I've, I've read all three and Asunder is my favorite one. All right, cool. Are you going to be introducing any new IPs now that you're done with Mass Effect? We definitely will. We're working on a third intellectual property right now. I can't tell you anything about it. It's this very, very closely guarded secret. But Aaron Flynn, um, sometime earlier this year, actually hinted at it. So yes, definitely we are looking to expand just beyond Dragon Age and Mass Effect. I'm excited. I, I can't wait to see. Uh, when in the Dragon Age timeline does Inquisition take place? Read Asunder, maybe, if you want. Read Asunder, but it definitely is after the Blights. It's after what's going on with Hawk. It's, it's again, it's not happening simultaneously to that stuff, so you don't need to play the other games um, unless you're a super huge fan like like I assume we are. Um, but 
It's definitely post the other games. Um, I can't say how far out or how close, but read asunder. Read asunder, guys. Uh, let's see. It looks like we have one more question. Uh, what will Dragon Age 3 have that we haven't seen before in the franchise? Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition will have that we haven't seen. It will have a lot more exploration. You will like, be able to go and see a lot more places than you've ever been able to see before. Before, Dragon Age just meant Ferelden, and then it just meant Kirkwall, right. and now there's a lot more opportunities. I mean, I don't know if you saw the Dragon Age trailer or not, but Morgan is wearing yeah. that crazy ball gown. Oh my god, that trailer, dude. It looks amazing. Uh, I have already claimed a Morgan ball gown cosplay, but I just want to say, where do you think she's wearing that at? Like, come on, think about it. That's not Ferelden. This is like, I saw the trailer and I just died. I'm like, I can't wait for this game. It's going to be awesome. All right, we have one more question uh, from a Redditor, uh, Skydark, which is me. I want to know, what is one thing that you want to tell everybody but haven't had the chance to because you haven't been asked it yet? Ooh. Oh, my God. That's like the, that's the best question. Now there's all these things that I want to say. Oh my god, you put me on the then spot. I'd say all of them. Okay. I want people to know that, I, I do, I want people to know that we really are listening. It sounds so stupid and cliche and PR speak, but we really are listening. That is like half my job. We're working on so many cool things that I really want to share. We're working on stuff that I think is going to change the internet for a better place. I'm all sunshine and rainbows about that stuff, but I think it's true. And all of it comes back to just creating and sustaining this love for Mass Effect Dragon Age and our third whatever. Are you, are you maybe hinting at like an MMO or something? No, no, not an MMO. Um, although, you know, that's definitely like way above my pay grade. Um, I think I think right now, you know, we've, we've got SOTOR, which I don't work on, but it is an awesome game. But we are definitely working on some cool things to give back to our fans.